before starting the video i just want to show you one thing since we have 76 days 8 hours left at the time of recording ab jab bhi dekh rahe ho it will further decrease we know that the date of examination is 26th of december so you have limited time now you should know how to handle this time and for that we have made 75 hard csir challenge this is going to help you to crack the csir net 2023 and this is for free if you want to join our combo course so all the eight courses is having a huge discount right now only 4000 for one year you will get study material ocean atmosphere planetary basic as well as advanced course free geology content and we are providing previous year complete solution nobody is doing that we have ai if you have any doubt at any point of time you can have a look on our ai we have the summary of best books out there best notes 6500 questions with their explanation 75 practice paper 25 mock test paper what else you want we have the best content for csir and everything at cheapest price srif charger only 4000 you will get flat 10000 rupees discount plus we will help you for customized study plan we will let you know kaun se topics important hain which you can ignore and that will be customized according to each and every student we will provide free counseling plus this 75 hard csir challenge that is going to completely change the way you prepare for csir so let's start the video now we're back again with the new video on video series of csir and hf over sciences so today we are going to cover a topic which is really confusing to a lot of people and a lot of students simply ignore this so believe me by the end of this video you find this topic very easy mark my words let's start barrow topic so barrow means what have you heard of barometer which is related to pressure and tropic means what tropics 0 to 30 degree north 0 to 30 degree south so one thing is clear ki it is something which occurs in the tropical region and it is something which depends on the pressure so barotropic is basically a condition where density is a function of pressure not temperature so density changes with change in pressure first of all second if it is changing with pressure there is no dependency on the temperature that means there is a uniform temperature throughout if there is uniform temperature that means delta t change in thermal gradient is also zero so true. at 5 meter the temperature is same at 10 meter temperature is again the same so the thermal gradient is again the same no it's 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 zero right because temperature is same if you if you subtract the difference will be zero now there is a lack of front so what is the front means front is basically a reason where two different air masses meet and the two different air masses bol rahe hain yani dono air mass has different temperature and moisture in it so different temperature nahi hai yaha, right here we have uniform temperature since there is no change in temperature in both the air masses there will be no front at all and ye front kaisa bhi ho sakta hai warm front cold front occluded front and stationary front but here there is no front at all third point in a barotropic fluid thermal wind is zero since temperature is same there is no change in temperature right so temperature leads to change in the pressure and pressure leads to the flow of wind so yaha if temperature is same there will be no thermal wind at all okay and if there is no thermal wind that means flow at different level will be same so at 5 meter the flow is same at 10 meters there also the flow will be same so vertical wind shear is again zero vertical wind shear is what in normal condition what happens close to the surface there is a friction there are landmass there is trees house so that creates a friction as you go up 
because there will be no friction so the velocity will definitely increase but in the barotropic condition in the barotropic condition there will be no vertical wind shear okay last point if the atmosphere were truly barotropic there would be no isotherms on a constant pressure map now i already told you here density is a function of pressure not a temperature right so constant pressure means what isobar so isobar is parallel to isopycnal line pycnal line is what in oceanography you have heard of if the density is same that is considered as isopycnals okay so fluid jab hum bolte hain it can happen in the ocean it can happen in the atmosphere both so here the isopycnal lines are parallel to isobar lines not isothermal lines kyunki density is a function of pressure na ki temperature now coming to baroclinic so again remember if that is happening in the tropical region this one is happening in the upper latitudes okay 30 to 60 like that mid latitudes so baroclinic flow is one which the density depends on both yahan density dono pe depend karta hai on the temperature as well as pressure their density is a function of only pressure in a baroclinic atmosphere there will be a temperature gradient on a constant pressure surface in the previous case there is no temperature gradient since temperature is same yahan temperature alag alag hai har level pe temperature alag hai as you go up टेम्परेचर विल चेंज सो टेम्परेचर ग्रेडियंट डेवलप होगा ऑन कॉन्स्टेंट प्रेसर सर्फेस आई यू गेटिंग माई पॉइंट आई विल सो दिस इन अ फिगर ओके सो डोंट वरी इन अ बैरोक्लोनिक एटमोसफेयर द फ्लो विल बी डिफरेंट एट डिफरेंट लेवल्स आई टोल्ड यू सिंस द टेम्परेचर इज डिफरेंट द फ्लो विल बी अगेन डिफरेंट एट डिफरेंट लेवल्स सो सिंस वी आर गेटिंग डिफरेंट टेम्परेचर that will leads to the formation of frontal zones so somewhere you are getting a cold temperature and on the other hand you are getting a warm temperature somewhere so if the cold air mass uh, overtakes a warm air mass that leads to the uh, cold front formation right so like that frontal formation will takes place since you have distinct air mass right in a synoptic scale baroclinic environment you will find the polar jet in vicinity troughs of low pressure mid latitude cyclones and the frontal boundaries so you are not only getting this close to the mid latitude even uh, somewhere close to 60 degree where we get polar jets uh, because this polar jet is not fixed on the poles only it keep moving up and down with the change in the season right so baroclinic environment you will get with the polar jets also as well as mid latitude cyclones remember tropical cyclones ke sath always barotropic will associate okay now let's compare side by side this is very important okay so in barotropic condition density is a function of pressure density depends upon the pressure while here density depends on the pressure as well as temperature weak temperature gradient why क्योंकि टेम्परेचर इज सेम सो टेम्परेचर ग्रेडियंट इज इक्वल टू जीरो एट टू पॉइंट एट टू लेवल्स वी आर हैविंग द सेम टेम्परेचर तो डेल्टा टी जीरो हियर डेल्टा टी इज नॉट इक्वल टू जीरो सिंस टेम्परेचर इज डिफरेंट ओके वीक वर्टिकल विंड शेयर वाई क्योंकि वर्टिकल विंड शेयर इज इक्वल टू जीरो क्योंकि द टेम्परेचर इज सेम राइट सो देर विल बी नो थर्मल विंड एट ऑल सिंस देर इज नो थर्मल विंड हाउ यू आर गेटिंग लाइक you won't expect the vertical winds here right on the other hand in the baroclinic atmosphere you will get a vertical winds here since we are having different thermal winds then wave tends to propagate westward always remember in the tropical region cyclone moves in which side westward from east to west while on the other hand at mid latitude there's a mid latitude cyclones which is formed due to frontal zones due to due to formation of fronts they moved eastward from west to east direction okay uh, usually 
ट्रॉपिक्स में इट अकर जीरो टू थर्टी डिग्री एंड दिस यूजली अकर्स थर्टी टू सिक्सटी डिग्री बट अगेन दिस इज द आइडियल कंडीशन इट कीप चेंजिंग विद द सीजन नाउ लेट्स टॉक अबाउट सम यूजिंग डायग्राम लेट्स सी द सेम थिंग सो बैरो ट्रॉपिक में आई टोल्ड यू डेंसिटी इज अ फंक्शन ऑफ प्रेशर तो जितना डेंसिटी चेंज होगा उतना ही प्रेशर में यू विल गेट चेंजेस सो बोथ द सरफेस कांस्टेंट प्रेशर इज व्हाट आइसो बार एंड कांस्टेंट डेंसिटी सरफेस इज कॉल्ड आइसो पिकनल लेवल सो बोथ विल बी पैरेलल टू इच अदर ओके व्हाई इन द बैरोट्रॉपिक कंडीशन दिस कांस्टेंट डेंसिटी एंड कॉन्स्टेंट प्रेशर वॉन्ट बी पैरल दे दे इंटरसेक्ट विथ इच अदर राइट आई विल सो ओवर ह्योर in in proper way so this is the barotropic condition now you can see this isobaric surface in let's assume the ocean we are we are in the we are having a cross section of a ocean so here isobaric surface is parallel to the isopicnal surface that is your barotropic condition there is no temperature at all while here see this isobar is cross cutting this isopignal surface now we know that as we go down pressure will increase right so that means this is at low pressure this will is having more pressure right so at a same level you can see here here we have less density pressure increases so density also increase baroclinic may what happens density is a function of pressure as well as temperature now let's take a pressure only over here so as we go down we know pressure is increasing that all that means density also increasing but in the same cross section at two different ends we have two different density what is the reason behind it dekho iske ye jo line hai if the uh, press uh, density at this point at this point if the density is say 10 cm cube along the whole line you will get the same density 10 cm cube but as you go down this one will have more density this will have further more density because these are different lines so here you will get a water of less density while here you will get a water of more density are you getting my point so that is the reason why isobars and isopicnals are not parallel so that's it for the today hope you like the video please have a look on the other videos thank you guys